All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, we're trying to do some small repair, uh, but what I wanted to show is actually uh, some plastic welding, what I have been trying to do recently. So that's a perfect small test sample to do that. So it's a, a box for the, uh, I think it's for the screwdriver bits. Yeah, like I removed the insert, so that's just a box. Uh, unfortunately, it was dropped some time ago, and let's see if we can do the hinge here. Yeah, as you can see here, the hinge is broken, so here's what can happen. Now we can open that, and it just goes straight out, just like that. Uh, that's not supposed to work like that. <laughs> it's detachable, but not really how I want to do it. So yeah, as you can see, that's, here's the problem. Uh, so we'll try to repair this, and there are obviously different ways to do it. It's not mission critical component by any means. So you can glue it, you can leave it as is, uh, you can do some epoxy, uh, all kinds of things, but we are gonna try to do airless plastic welding and see how it goes. So, uh, what do we have here? Let me show you quickly. So, yeah. So, Mini Weld Model 7 from Polyvans. That's an airless uh, plastic welder. And it looks just like well, a soldier gun. The difference is that the temperatures, well, there are different uh, nozzles there. Uh, and uh, the, the part about the control is basically, well, the temperature control is specific to different plastics. And that allows that actually to not to burn, but to weld, really. It's slightly different than metal welding, but the basic idea is still the same. All right, so with that, uh, well, one thing it's always fun with plastic welding is trying to figure out what is actually uh, the thing that you're trying to weld is made of, because that's not always marked. And there are different rods and different processes even for different plastic types. And of course, that's this being the very low end toolbox. There are, there are absolutely no markings on the box with respect to what kind of plastic it is. And, uh, but that's not gonna stop us. So I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna tackle that. So there are different ways to figure out what kind of plastic you're welding. Uh, there are different tests you can perform, especially if you have a spare piece of plastic, which I definitely do have here on the inside, under the inserts that no one can ever see that. Uh, I, I don't really care that much in this case, um, but it, by all indications, it seems to be ABS. Uh, I tried to uh, to build a, an ABS rod to that, and it seems to be working. Uh, so the, there are two things that we are trying to do here. So one, we're going to do some stainless steel mesh over just to give the strength. I mean, obviously not necessary in this case, but that's more for practice. And it's kind of tricky to do in the small parts like that. And then if needed, we'll put some more plastic on top, ABS in this case, uh, if needed. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And if that doesn't work, there is a, a different compound that uh, Polyvans provides that you can weld just about, well, not really weld, you can join just about any type of plastic. It's not a true weld. I mean, it's, it's more like a brazing, but hey, uh, we'll, we'll see if we need to go there. All right, so where is my steel mesh? All right, so here's the mesh. Uh, yeah, nothing to it. You can see it here, more detail. I already cut some pieces from that for some other project. Uh, but already, I did pre-cut a small, small, tiny piece here and bent it. So there is that. As you can see, uh, once you go really small pieces, then the mesh doesn't really hold together very well. 
So, well, we'll see if that's going to work or not. So, the idea is I bent it around so I can attach it like that. Sort of like that. And then sink it into the existing plastic just to embed it. Yeah, you see that? That's what happens then the, your um, mesh piece is too small. It just disintegrates. It doesn't matter. It's really just a little bit of reinforcement. And we actually care more about the, this direction. All right, so let's see if we can embed it right there. Yeah, I think we'll just remove the those pieces. And the temperature set up for ABS. And see, just like that. It's already embedded a little bit. Section at the right place. And let's try with this side. We actually need to go around over the, the break. Like so. and wrap it around and embed it on this side as I said in this case that obviously doesn't matter but uh, if you want to recreate some tabs where they actually it's important to have a strength to it then you even if you do a proper welding, the plastic welding, you, you, you still want to reinforce it with the steel mesh because yeah, otherwise it just, I mean, plastic generally is not really designed for strength applications in most cases. And I think it's embedded. Yeah, we can still open it. All right, it's not going anywhere. Now, if we really want to, we can add some ABS rod to, to weld on top of that. Uh, I don't have the, well, the colored one, so I only have yellow. So I only have white, while the box obviously is yellow. Uh, let's see if we can just do it at the bottom. All right, so my camera battery just cut off so uh, in the meantime while I was charging I decided to actually go with the different 
rod, which is Fiberflex. Fiberflex, I don't know if I'll sit down. Basically, there you go. So that's more universal rod. That doesn't do proper welding welding. But on the other hand, it sticks to anything. So... It's more of the adhesive rather than just a proper welding rod. Yeah, that part is stinky. So I'm basically going to cover like that and then we're going to need to cut it. Hopefully I didn't cut too much. That should be fine. And now we just need to spread it out. Yeah, and like the other welding rods, we are not trying to mix it with the underlying material. Because that's not how this thing works. That really just an adhesive on top. And basically we're just like burying the, the steel mesh. There's more space here, so we might want to do a little bit more. And again, we can send it, we can file it a little bit, but really, I don't think there's a need. The important part is the hinge is not popping out. All right, and I just made a couple of passes with the small file. I mean, you can use the some sandpaper, and yeah, that's that's how it looks like now. Not pretty, but perfectly functional. You can see, closes, doesn't go anywhere. And pull them. That certainly didn't work before. Yeah. 
and it's solidified solid so yeah there you go a little bit more experience it could have been even looking better but in this case i don't care and just so you know how the final product actually looked like so here it is with the insert so a whole bunch of tips and a couple of screwdrivers very handy very compact really old probably not the best quality but actually very very handy so that's it and now the tab is fixed We can lift on the tab. Yeah, no problem. Oops, aligned. Perfect. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you feel that that might be something of uh, interest to you. And with that, I'll see you next time.